Yo, what up guys? Sammy Lee here from the Soul Brothers. And I just got a new shoe in today. It is the UA Drive 4. Now it just came out uh, a few days ago. I just got these in uh, yesterday. And uh, I already played in it once. So this is my first impressions uh, look on the UA Drive 4. And, um, you know, we're going to go over the tech specs. So uh, this is a UA Drive 4. You know, of course, the original... Uh, Under Armour Clutch Fit Drive uh, 1 was a really really good performer, it was uh, it was amazing and it came in at a really really good price. Uh, the second one was kind of a disappointment and the third one was pretty nice. So this is the fourth one, it's just the Drive 4 obviously because it does not use the Clutch Fit material so they're just calling it the Drive. And um, I don't know, I feel like uh, Clutch Fit was a really nice material and it felt like a second skin but um, I I'm not too mad at this textile upper uh, which we'll be getting into. So yeah, so let's get started with the, the traction pattern. It's just it's just a herringbone pattern. Uh, it does look slightly translucent, Very, it's like a 90% opacity. Uh, um, but uh, I'm not even mad because uh, I already played in it and the traction seems to be really really nice. Uh, it just needs to break in a little bit, I feel like. So if I break it in a little more, I feel like it's going to be really, really good. So uh, it's just a hangbone pattern. And thank you, Under Armour. No bullshit. No storytelling traction or anything like that. Just straight up herringbone. And I feel like the rubber compound is uh, that they use is pretty nice too. So um, I feel like the traction is going to be really good. So now, so now moving on to the uh, cushioning system, the midsole. Uh, it, there is a lot of stuff in this. So... This is uh, here on the side, it's a EVA uh, midsole carrier, so uh, it's just EVA, nothing special. It's pretty stiff to the touch, and uh, so it's a midsole carrier, and here in the heel is uh, an exposed micro G heel is what it says. I'm not sure how far deep it goes into the heel. Um, I think right here underneath where the UA logo is, I think that might be um, the micro G, I'm not sure. Uh, ho hopefully it's like a whole micro G unit, but I'm not uh, sure and I don't know how far it goes down Maybe it goes down into the, into the forefoot, but I don't think it does We you might have to wait for the dismantling video But it just says heel so I, I feel like it's just in the heel and it doesn't really matter because I couldn't really feel anything um, Especially you know the heel too. I couldn't really feel a crazy uh, compression. I feel like what Under Armour wanted for the dry four was, you know, a re really responsive type of cushion, really fast, uh, you know, more t uh, geared towards guards, you know, so you don't want a lot of dead play in the um, uh, the cushion. So, yeah, I'm not too mad at it. The, uh, the insole uh, uh, also is an EVA sock liner, so uh, it's actually pretty plush. Step and comfort is actually uh, super comfortable, uh, but the uh, the, the cushion is actually pretty stiff um, but you know uh, I'm not too mad at that and uh, you know this little sidewall right here this little thing uh, we weren't sure what it was from the original pictures but um, it's just a little plastic uh, that comes up here I uh, you guys see this Under Armour uh, logo right here on the bottom it's just a plastic TPU uh, midfoot shank and it kind of wraps around uh, into the midfoot, uh, the midfoot part of the uh, lateral side, so you get a little bit more containment. Um, I guess they kind of cut it out right here, so they want to show it, uh, so you know what the tech is. But I don't really think they needed to do that. So the cushion is okay. So now moving on to the upper, it, it's just the textile upper. Um, in the catalog, the tech specs, it didn't say what um, what uh, specific technology Under Armour used like um, speed form or whatever um, so I don't I don't know if Under Armour is going to name it but just this textile upper and it feels kind of like a polyester kind of woven uh, upper uh, it feels like a fly weave you know similar to like the Mentality 2's uh, which is a nice material it does feel a little cheap as in like it feels a little plasticky but you know that's okay and um, there are some uh, synthetic overlays for durability um, here in the toe and also um, kind of like where the laces are so and you have kind of like a, a neoprene a really thick material here on the underlaying everything I believe and um, here in the ankle collar so uh, you have a lot of ankle support but I feel like you know bending it backwards like this uh, there's a lot of restriction I might need to break it in but uh, 
just from a first uh, testing, uh, it did feel a little cumbersome, and that's why I like to have a little bit of a cutout here in the back, so it doesn't that doesn't happen because you're gonna roll your ankle this way, not this way, right? So, um, but ankle support does seem to be really really good. Um, so there's that materials. Uh, I'm not mad at it. It's super light, and I feel like it's gonna get really soft. So you know, materials are pretty nice. And of course, you do have an external TPU heel counter, um, uh, you know, just for uh, support. Uh, so moving on to fit, I, I did go true to size, so just go true to size. And uh, width-wise, I feel like it's a little bit more of a normal fit. It's not too wide, it's not too narrow, so uh, it's perfect for me. And uh, wide footers, I feel like you might need to go up half a size, so there's that. And, um, you know, this is a UAST model, I believe and it's $115, which is a really, really good price. And, uh, you know, it's the cheapest uh, team model shoe that I think any company is doing, or the, uh, between Under Armour, Adidas, and uh, Nike. Nike has a Hyperdunk, I think, for like 130, 140, and then the Crazy Explosive is like 120 or 130. So uh, this is the cheapest, and uh, we will be doing uh, versus videos and stuff like that. But I feel like this is going to be a, a really, really good performer, especially for guards, and I think I'm going to enjoy it. So, um, if you guys want to uh, have updates on uh, the shoe and stuff like that, you guys can always follow us on Instagram, uh, Soul Brothers, Soul Brothers underscore IG. So, uh, make sure to follow us there, and a review will be coming soon. Uh, my first impressions on the shoe is, is are really good, and I have high hopes for this shoe. So. Um, thank you guys for watching. Tell us what you guys think about the aesthetics. I feel like it, it looks kind of dope in this triple black, triple black colorway, but you know it does kind of look a little bit like a boot. So um, it doesn't it doesn't feel like super bulky or anything, but it does feel a little bit like a boot. So um, or it does look a little bit like a boot. So uh, there you go. That's my first impressions look and tech specs. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.